Thanks for joining us today for our science lesson. Can everyone say hello? Hello. Hello. Let's begin with our meditation. That's right. Two fingers. Find our heart center. Left hand in our lap. And close your eyes. Feel for boom, 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 boom in your heart center. Move your right hand to your left. Let's end our meditation with three breaths together. One, two, and our last one, three. Slowly start to wiggle your finger. Slowly start to wiggle your toe. Slowly open. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about a new material today. So we'll go through a few examples of that new material. It's glass today. We'll watch some videos about how it's made. And we'll do some activities as well where we experiment with our glass and see if it can float or bend or all different kinds of things. So first, we're going to take a look at some glass. Glass. So take a look up here, friends. We've got lots of different kinds of glass. Have you seen this before? No. <laughs> yeah, we've seen this before. Yeah, we've used this in a lot of our other science videos to test if things float or sink. So this is glass. This is pretty big piece of glass, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big one. Big one. So glass sometimes makes a special sound, kind of like metal when we tap our fingers against it. Yeah, it's kind of like a little ding ding. Ding ding. Metal. So we've got some bottles. What are these? Glass. They're glass. Glass, you can touch it. Mm -hmm. What do we do with these? Water. Yeah, we drink water with them. Do you hear that little sound in glass? <laughs> mm -hmm. So glass makes a special little sound. And what do we call these, friends? What do we call these things? Ca ca cups. 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 So we have cups made out of glass. Glass cups. Yep. They make that little sound. Are these made out of plastic? No. Yeah. No. We've seen, seen other cups that are made out of plastic, but today these are glass cups. We're talking about glass today. We've got some little tubes. What do you think? Glass. They're made out of glass. Yep. All together is glass. Yeah, that's right. All of these things are glass. We've got a tall bottle. On top, top in the middle. Good, friends. This on top is metal. What about this part? What do you think this Plastic. part on top is? Plastic. Yeah. This was a jar. And it's made of glass here. 
There's plastic on the top. <laughs> what do you think this part is made out of? Um, Yeah, inside, but what about this part? Uh, what about metal. this part? Yeah. Uh, this part is metal. Uh, this part is metal. Okay. This part is glass. And this part is made out of plastic. It's plastic. So this bottle is made out of a lot of different things. What is this bottle made the most out of? Uh, glass. Mostly glass, yeah, it's mostly glass. Good. What color is this glass? White, 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 yellow. Good thinking, friends. We say it's clear. Clear. Clear or see-through. See-through. Because remember, we can go on the other side and we can still see through that glass. We can see, yeah, we can see right through that glass. If we put the glass in front of our face, we can still see on the other side. So we call that see-through or clear. We'll talk more about that. What about this? What do we call this, friends? It's made out of glass. What about the top part? Where do you think the top is made? Some metal. Some metal. Metal or plastic? Hmm, it's a tough guess. What do you think? Metal or plastic? Metal and plastic. You think both metal and plastic? Um, I think plastic. You think plastic? It's hard to tell, huh? I don't know. I think it's metal? I think it might be metal. Let's pass it over to Pat. What do you think? Is this metal or plastic, friends? Take a look. This one we know is glass for sure. I think that. Plastic or metal? What do you think? Ma and metal. Metal? You think metal? Plastic. Do you think plastic? That's cool. We can think different things. That's all right. It's kind of hard to tell. It's kind of tricky, right? Children, I think plastic. You think plastic? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Plastic or metal? I think plastic or metal? Okay. Let's share it with some other friends. No. Okay. So this part's glass and our lid. Plastic. Plastic or metal. We've got some different guesses. That's cool. And that's cool. It's okay, friends. We don't have to agree on everything. So we've got some. What do you think these are made out of? Glass. Glass. Yep, those are glass. 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 You're right. What about this? Glass. What do you think? Glass and what's this part? Plastic. Good. Good. Don't smell it. It's ink from our markers. It doesn't smell very good. Mm -hmm. It's extra ink from our markers. So we've got glass on the bottom part. Good. Keep moving along. Okay. Just take a tap. Don't smell it. Let's move it along. There you go. We've got plastic on the top. Plastic on the bottom. Or glass on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Good. Plastic. And the glass. Okay. Plastic. Mm -hmm. And the glass. So a little bit different. A lot of times things are made up of two different things. Glass and plastic, or metal and glass, or plastic and metal. So what do you think about these, friends? What do you think these are made of? What do you think these are made of? Glass and plastic. Good, friends. They're made of glass and plastic. Which part is the glass? Uh-huh. These two parts are the glass. Which part is the plastic? Yeah, the long parts. Those parts are made of plastic. This part is made of glass. <laughs> so think about glasses when we think about see-through. See-through. So those glasses, when I put them on, I can still see through the other side. In fact, I can see a little bit better. <laughs> so that part is glass. And what's this part? 
Um, plastic. Plastic. It's made out of a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Picture is better. Yeah, picture is a little bit better for me. So think about that when we think about see-through for our glass. See-through. Can we see through it? And with glasses, we sure can see right through it. So our glass is all see-through. We can look on the other side of that glass. If we put it in front of our face, we can still see on the other side of that. Okay? Mm -hmm. What about this? What color is this? Green. Green. Do you think this is still glass? Yeah. But it's green. Glass and metal. Glass and metal. Even though it's green, you think it's still glass? Yeah. Check it out. Glass and metal. What do you think? Metal and glass. Metal and glass. <laughs> what do you think? Is this part glass? Yes. <laughs> yeah, even though this glass is what color? Green. Green. It's I still. See, I see. It's still made out of glass, even though it's green glass. Isn't that kind of cool? Can I still see through it? Yeah. Yeah, everything looks green. <laughs> yeah, you can see through it. Everybody take a look. green. Yeah. Do I look green? <laughs> yeah. And you can see the light too? Yeah. So even though this is green, we can still see through it. Even though it might change colors. <laughs> we can still see through that glass. Good friends, so we're going to take a little short break to look at some videos about how different kinds of glass are made. And you're going to see some different colored glass. It's a pretty cool video, so take about 15 minutes to watch some of those videos. Go over them with your students and ask some questions. I think they're really going to enjoy them. And then we'll meet you back here in 15 minutes and we're going to start doing some experimenting with all of our glasses. Okay, before we start experimenting, we're going to do our little stretch break. So everybody stand up. <laughs> Put your arms up high over your head. Stretch all your fingers. Twist your wrists. Spin your hands. Shake out your fingers. Good, friends. Put your arms in a T. And ta-ta, touch your toes. Come up halfway, swing your monkey arms, pretend like they're very heavy. Stand up straight and tall, stand up straight and tall. Please be careful of your neighbor, don't hit your neighbor. You might need to scoot over a little bit so you're not hitting your neighbor, thank you. Let's do it again, stretch your arms up high. Stretch all your fingers out. Good job. Put your arms in a T. And ta ta, touch your toes. Touch your toes. Come up halfway and swing your monkey arms. You can do some monkey hops if you like, some monkey jumps. <laughs> Very nice. Stand up straight and tall. Let's try to balance. Let's try to balance. Stand on one leg. Stand on one leg. If you can put your arms out, go ahead and put your arms out. Try to balance. Can you do it? Good job. Stand on two legs. If you did it, say, I did it. Good. Let's switch legs. Other leg. Stand on your other leg. If you can balance like that, try to put your arms out. If you can do that, stand on two legs. If you did it, say, I did it. I did it. Very nice. Let's do three big claps.
Three big jumps. Three big steps. Three big spins around. <laughs> Good. Do three little spins. Three little steps. Three little claps. And three little jumps. Good job, friends. Are we ready to take a seat? Okay, we're ready to start doing some experimenting with our glass. So we've got our worksheet that we've seen before. It's our same worksheet, so we're gonna put all of our glass through all these different tests like we've done on our other videos. So first thing we're gonna put for material. Can you open this? Good. What is this all made out of, friends? What are these things all made out of? Glass. Glass. So that's going to be the first thing we write for our material. Glass. What's the first sound you hear? Glass. G. G. Glass. What do you hear next? L. 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 A. Good. A. Ah, ah, ah. Glass. S, that's right, friends. Great spelling. S, 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 glass. Double S, glass. Glass, yep, right next to our material. Today we're talking about glass. Our material today is glass. We've done plastic, we've done wood. What else have we talked about? Mm. Metal. 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 We've talked about glass and metal and wood and plastic. Glass. Okay. What's the first question for glass? Look how many pieces there are. Break it. Good. Yeah, bend is our next one. That's cool. What do you think, friends? Can we break glass? No. Are you sure? And break, yeah. Yeah, can we, yeah, if we smash it on the ground, do you think that would break the glass? Yeah. If we drop it on the ground? Yeah. yeah, I think it would. So that can be kind of dangerous. We're probably not going to do that in class today, hopefully. So that's why with glass, things like this and this, we need to be very, very careful because glass can break very easily. It's delicate. Glass can break very easily. So when we're holding glass, we want to make sure our hands are dry. We want to make sure we're being careful, moving slowly with our glass because glass can break. And when glass breaks, it breaks into a lot of tiny little pieces. And those pieces like to go everywhere. And we don't wear shoes in our classroom, so that could be dangerous. If we step on some of that glass, that could really hurt us. Yeah, we'd see some blood probably. Yeah, it would hurt. Yeah. That glass is sharp. And this glass, and this glass, and Yep, if we drop some glass and that glass breaks, we've got to be very careful to get all of those pieces, to sweep it up. Raise your hand if you have seen glass break before. Me. Yeah, have you seen glass break? Yeah. 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 Yeah, and you stepped on a little piece? Yeah, did it hurt your foot? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why we need to be very careful with glass. We're not going to break any glass today, but is glass something that we can break? Yeah. Yeah, it's something that we can break. So our first answer is going to be yes. Yes. Yes, we can break glass. Yes. 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 We can break glass. We can break glass. We can break glass. What's our next question? Mm -hmm. Can you bend it? Do you remember what bend means, friends? Yeah, good. Like with our ruler. If you have a ruler on your desk, show me how you can bend it. You can bend it. Good. Bend is a little bit 
when you take something flat and you put a little curve in it. You can bend it. You can bend it a little bit. So that's bend. Bend. Bend is when we can make that shape change just a little bit. So what do you think about glass, friends? Can we bend glass? No. I don't think so. Let's try. Can we bend it? No. What about this one? Oh, I'm trying hard. Yeah, we can't bend that glass. <laughs> we could break that glass, but we can't bend that glass. Glass is too hard to bend, so we cannot bend that glass. Yep, you can write no for bend. Because we can't bend that glass. We can't bend that glass. Yeah. I think if we tried to bend that glass, it might break. Our long glass would break if we try to bend that. So glass we cannot bend. We can't bend that glass. Okay, what's our next question, friends? Can it float? Can Good. It float. No. Float. 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 Good reading, friends. Float. Let's practice that word together. Float. 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 Yeah, and float. If we our little picture of our boat. Float is when it's right on top of the water. Float. Float. Do you remember what it's called if it goes under the water? Good, friends. Sink. 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 If it goes under our water, it sinks. If our boat... Uh-oh. My boat's in trouble. It's going under that water. It's sinking. It's sinking. It's going under that water. Under that water. So we have float and sink. And they are opposites. Float and sink. Float and sink. Okay, if some of our glass will float or sink. Let's start with this. Raise your hand if you think this will float. Me, float. Stay on top of the water. Float. float. Mm -hmm. On top of the water. Raise your hand if you think it will sink and go under the water. Under the water. Okay. Let's find out. Let's find out. Wow, come test it out for us. Let's see if it's going to float, stay on top of that water, or go under the water and sink. Okay, can you put it in? What's happening? Float, float. It's floating so far. What if we get a little more water inside there? Is it still floating? Yes. Still floating. Let's make it all the way full of water. What happened? Ah, oh, it's saying. So that goes kind of both, right, friends? If we have it just at the top with only a little water inside, it floats. It stays on top. But if we put a lot of water inside, then it sinks. Yeah, it does both. It does both. It does both. So you could put yes or no for that one because if it's empty, if it's empty, it floats. Even with a lot of water inside, it still floats. But if it's all the way full of water, it's going to sink. It's yes. going to sink. Okay. Let's try something smaller. What do you think? Let's try this smaller one. Do you think this will float or sink? Float. Float? What do you think, friends? 
Raise your hand if you think this will float. Me, float. Stay on top of the water. Raise your hand if you think it will sink. Raise your hand if you think both, like with our last one. Okay. Let's try it first. Empty. 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 For empty, is there anything inside? No. No. For empty, it's just like this. Come on, try. Empty. Empty. Okay, let's find out. It's empty. We're going to see if it floats or sinks, if it's empty. Okay, what's happening so far, friends? It's floating. Okay, fill it up with water. Yes. Mm-hmm. What happened? Yay! It sinks. sinks. So it looks like a lot of our things, when they're empty, they float. But when they're full of water, they sink. What do you think about our teeny tiny one? Do you think the same thing will happen? Yes. If it's empty, do you think it will float? Yes. What if you? What if it's full of water? It's what do you think will happen? Like the same? Okay. Think, okay, come test it out. Friends, if you want to come up, you've got to be quiet and not talking. Come over here. Come over here. Put it in. What happened? Sink. Sink. Okay. There's water inside. What if we have it just on the top? What's it doing now? Floating. It's floating. If it's got some water inside, about half full, and we put it in, it's still floating. But if we make it full of water, all the way full, we put it in there, it sinks all to the bottom. OK, pretty cool. What do you think about our tall? Tall tubes. It's a different shape. Do you think the same thing will happen? You think it'll float. If it's empty, what do you think will happen if it's empty? Floating. What do you think? Float. Maybe float. What if it's full of water? Oh, maybe it'll sink. Let's find it. You think both? It'll kind of both. Okay, pack boom. Come test it out. Come test it out. I think both. Be careful. What happened? It's sinking. Does it have any water in it? No. No, it's empty. Yeah, it's it's tall. It's pretty tall. And heavy. And heavy. So that one sank down to the bottom. It went to the bottom. Interesting. We thought that was going to do both. We thought it was going to sink and float. <gasps> what about our tiny one? What do you think will happen? I see. I see. I see. Do you think it will, it will sink like this? Yeah. Do you think it will float if it's empty? What if it's empty? Raise your hand if this is empty, if you think it will float. Me float. Float when it's empty. When we put water in it, Raise your hand if you think it will sink if it's full. Okay, we're going to find out. Pen, pen, come on. Test it out. So we're going to see if it's empty, what happens? Let's see. Empty. Come over here. Oh, you go over there. That's cool. I'll put it in carefully. What happened? It's sinking again. Interesting. Very interesting. So our, yeah, our tall tubes act a little different than our short glasses. So it's kind of cool to see all the different things that sink or float. And they act a little differently than we thought, which is pretty neat. OK. Let's try our little jar. Our little jar. Do you think this jar will sink or float? Float or sink? Let's try it empty first. Empty. If it's empty, raise your hand. Everybody put your hands down. This is empty. Raise your hand if you think it will float when it's empty. 
Raise your hand if you think it will sink when it's empty. Okay. What about when it's full of water? What about when it's full? When it's full of water, do you think it will float? Raise your hand. Float, full of water. Raise your hand if you think it will sink when it's full of water. I think so. Okay, Pang Pan, let's go test it out. So first we're gonna do it empty. Empty. Come over here. Empty. You think it'll float? Let's see. What happened, friends? What's it doing? Is it sinking down to the bottom? No. No, it's kind of up top, kind of floating. Okay, we're gonna fill it with water. What if it's full, friends? It's full of water. Do you think it will float or sink? Sink. Okay. Nadia, come test it out for us. We've got it full of water. Will it float or sink? Here you go. Put it in there. What happened, friends? Sink. It's sinking. Good job. It's sinking. So isn't that funny? Sometimes things will float. Sometimes they will sink. It's a little different. Each thing is a little different. If they're empty, if they're empty, a lot of times glass will float, or if it has just a little bit of water in it, it will float. But if it's full of water, a lot of times it will sink down to the bottom. Our tall tubes did something very funny. They were empty, no water inside, but they still sank all the way down to the bottom. That was so interesting, so funny. So what do you think about our bottles, friends? Let's try our cool green glass bottle. Yeah. It's empty. Do you think this will float or sink? Or sink. Float or sink? Me it's sink. empty. Raise your hand if you think it will float. Me, 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 me. It's me, empty. Me, me, me. Float. Raise your hand if you think it will sink. Me, me, me. Sink. Okay, let's find out. Down, come test it out. We've got our bottle. We're going to see if it floats or sinks. Put it in. What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, I think it wants to float. If it had a bigger bucket, it would probably turn on its side. But it looks like it's floating on top. It's floating on top. What do you think if we put water inside? Sink. Think it will sink? Let's test it out. Let's see. Let's see. Do you see bubbles? Yeah. Cool bubbles. Okay. Now our jar, our bottle is full of water. Raise your hand if you think it will float. Raise your hand if you think it will sink. Good, okay, let's see. Did it sink or float? Sink. It sank, good job, friends. So for float, some things floated, like our glass when it was empty, and other things sank, like our bottles or our glasses when they are full. When they're full. So for glass, it seems like if it's empty, nothing inside, it might float a little bit. But if there's water inside, or even our small things without a lid, seems like those things will sink if they're full of water. But when they're empty, they kind of float a little bit. So for float, you can put yes or no, whichever you think, you can put both. You can put both, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, what's our next question, friends? Can you, can you see <coughs> through it? Through it, can you see through it? Yeah. Do you remember what see through means? Yeah. Yeah, if we put something. Yeah, that's right, if we can look at the thing in front of our face and we can see what's on the other side. It's see-through. Is my hand see-through? 
No. No, because I can't see on the other side. Is glass see-through? Can I still see on the other side? Yeah, it might look a little funny, but we can still see through that glass. What about if it's colored glass? Can we see through the colored glass? Yes. Yeah, that was pretty fun. It'll turn our vision a little bit green, but we can still see through that glass. We can look through it, we can see on the other side. See. It might look a little funny. Teacher, I saw some more. Yeah. So, so ah, teacher, I saw some more. Yeah, it might change how it looks a little bit, but you can see what's on the other side, teacher, right? So, 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 so. Yeah, I might look small or kind of weird looking. Yeah. Teacher, I saw the more. Can you see through it? Look through it. Look. Yeah. Changes our shape a little bit. So think about see through. Think about glasses. Remember, people put glasses on, and it's even in the word glass. Glass is even right in our word glasses. We just add an ES to make this say glasses. So when you're thinking about see-through, I want you to think about glasses because they're made of glass and you put them on so that you can see through them and see a little bit better. So glasses should help you remember about glass being see-through where we can look on the other side and we can see See right through that, what's happening on the other side of you. It's see through, see through. You can look on the other side and see what's going on. Okay. What's our last question, friends? What's our last question? What's this question? What do you think, friends? Is glass hard or soft? Hard. Hard. Remember how we test for hard? What do you think? Hard or soft? Give it a tap. Is it hard? Does it feel hard or soft? Soft and squishy or hard? What do you think? Hard. Soft and squishy or hard? Yeah. Hard. Hard. It's hard. Hard. So on your paper, you can write that sentence. It is hard. You can trace it. Thank you. You can trace it. It is hard. It is hard. Good. You trace part of that sentence, and the word hard is right on your paper. You can trace part of that sentence and the word hard is right on your paper. So glass is hard. Glass is hard. Can we break glass, friends? No. Can we break glass? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We can break glass. If we drop it on the floor, do you think it will break? Yeah. Yeah. If we drop glass on that floor, it definitely will break. So we can break glass. Can we bend glass? No. No. If we try to bend it, I think it will break. Especially things like our tubes here. If we try to bend those, they'll just probably break in two pieces. And our cups are too hard to bend. So we can't really bend glass. Does glass float? Does glass float? Yeah. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it sinks, right? We talked about that. Well, if it's empty, a lot of times it will float. If it's full of water, like this, a lot of times it will sink down to the bottom of that water. So it really just depends on the different kind of glass. What about see-through? Can we look through glass and see it? 
Can we see through glass? No. Look on your paper. Can we see through glass? Look on your paper. Can we see through glass? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can. Yeah. Yep. Good. Finish. We can see through glass. And is glass hard or soft, friends? Um, is it soft and squishy or is it hard? Hard. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Okay, great job. That's it for our worksheet and our experimenting about glass. Thanks for joining us for our science lesson about glass. Everyone say goodbye. Goodbye.